Oh, Christine, this Postal Service manager was out there with a the camera. Kind of looked like a crime scene. And in fact, each of these cards being thrown out is a federal offense. There were 38 voter registration cards, and there's video. In Crosby, at the corner of Boom and Truss, boom, there goes the trust. Watch again as a USPS letter carrier deposits something in Ellie Munoz's trash can. Were you like, what the heck? I was. I was, I was pretty surprised. Ellie and her dog made the discovery Thursday. What they found were 38 undelivered voter registration cards. Oh my goodness. I reached in there, grabbed them, put them out to dry, and um, I wasn't sure what I needed to do. I just felt that it wasn't right. In fact, it's a federal offense to destroy mail, not to mention the voter suppression implications. We asked the local letter carrier we spotted in the neighborhood about it. She says she was off Thursday. Not you? Not me. It's off. <laughs> Yeah, I have a good one, we were also there when Uncle Sam sent a supervisor Friday. Ellie got some attention when she posted the video on social media, and that supervisor collected the voter registration cards. What are your initial thoughts about this whole deal? Can you talk to us for just a second? Maybe she just couldn't hear me. Our next stop was this woman's house. Her husband's name is on one of the cards. We weren't invited in, so I yelled questions through the door in a highly animated fashion. It's very disturbing. Yeah, especially with all the, you know, the voter stuff going on. It doesn't matter what um, political affiliation you are inclined to, we, we all have rights. We also put a call into the postal inspector's office here in Houston today. No call back, at least not yet. We will stay on top of this story. In the meantime, you can make sure that you are registered to vote at the website for the Texas Secretary of State. You can find that at click2houston.com. We're live in a chilly Crosby. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC 2 News.